This person right here, by the way, is the lowest common denominator of content creation. All right, guys. So this video, when I wanted to make it originally, which was last night, I was a little bit more fired up and I just planned on going straight Alex Jones mode about someone who's, I, I feel is wrongdoing the, I guess you could say fitness community, strength community, whatever community it is that people are a part of when they want to do physical activity, usually with barbells. But I've decided to take more of a pragmatic approach and and try to look at this from the outside, really, uh, and, and come up with more of a thesis around why things like this happen continually. Uh, I did a video on Noble a little while back, and I talked about it as the idea economy. And basically, it's like producing the market before actually having a good product. And whether that product is good or not, fulfillment of those sales is something that a lot of these people forget about as well. But this is slightly different. I like to think of, you know, that whole Gary V hustle culture movement back in 2015. It still continues to this day, but I think it's a little bit more washed out and tired. And that's because the saturation of these entrepreneurs that is producing such toxic waste that something needs to be said. And I'm going to continue to say things about it. Because this, I feel like, is, is bullshit. It needs to be discussed. So today, this is about RX Mindset on Instagram. They're also RX Mindset on Facebook and TikTok and everything else. But for the most part, this person just takes intellectual property and sells it as their own. Now, intellectual property, as defined by the Oxford Dictionary, is a work or invention that is the result of creativity, such as a manuscript or design to which one has rights and for which one may apply for a patent, copyright, and trademark. So the weird thing about intellectual property in this kind of modern internet era is that it's very blurry because we have people who, you know, Gary Vee is saying, go out to Amazon Marketplace and sell things and um, go out, you know, there's so many different avenues for people to take whatever they have and sell it and let the market determine what is good. But we have people that kind of manipulate these algorithms and they don't really work that hard. They're not really hustling that hard. They just kind of got lucky. And by using other people's work, they've become very successful. RX Mindset has 41,000 Instagram followers, 72,000 uh, followers on Facebook a lot on TikTok or whatever, wherever else. And they've been doing this for three years now and nothing's really coming of it. So this is from the Barbell Physio and this is the, the owner of RX Mindset is the owner, I believe, of Pacifico CrossFit. And uh, he has been caught repeatedly scamming the online fitness community with online programs. It started with Greg Everett from Catalyst Athletics. That program, and I want to find that actually, because that one is just funny, because it's just a blatant rip, like 100% just, just a blatant rip. Okay, here we go. You'll see right from the first paragraph, uh, they just take out the words Greg Everett used to train for the 2014 American Open. And the rest of it is exactly the same. And the program itself, 12 weeks, exactly the same. Not even, I don't even think they changed the format. That's just a blatant ripoff. That's that's garbage. This person was called out on it, right? They looked into more. People looked into more of what this guy sells. And uh, the barbell physio actually noticed they had been stealing other things too, as well as like a strict muscle up program. Um, so get your first strict, strict muscle up in eight weeks. This is a direct rip from the barbell physio. And then I also know of another program from a friend of mine, this image right here, I, call, I, I called him out, this was a while back. I don't even know how long ago this was and the reason why this picture came up is actually pretty funny. Uh, this loser RX Mindset is selling a direct copy of the WOD Prep program and he's literally using a picture of Ben, the creator of WOD Prep, on it. So I thought that was funny. So that's another ripped program. 
Uh, and then if I actually go to the conversations I've had with RX Mindset, and I ended up deleting that, but that Instagram story was saved up there. And then I purchased the 12 week weightlifting program from RX Mindset. Hey friend, when can my when can I be expecting my program to be sent? I'm ready to train hard with some uh, some good emojis there. He said, "What's the order number?" So it was weird. First off, buying it, you just send them a PayPal, 30 bucks on PayPal, and then they send you an email with a uh, a Google Sheet or sorry, a Google document attached to it. And I looked at the program, and you know, it was whatever it. I'm sure some of it's ripped and I'm sure, you know, he changed just enough to make it look like he's not ripping off of someone else. But today, before I was going to make this video, I was actually deciding whether I was going to do it or not. I, you know, I leveled with him. I said, listen, man, I purchased your program to see if you've been copying my programming, which is up on Patreon for a dollar. And by the way, you guys can all be pieces of shit. Go on my Patreon, spend one dollar take every program off of it and send it to people. And if you want to do that and be a piece of shit, that's fine. That's, you know, I don't place too much value on programs because the value I place is on my coaching. Numbers on pages don't make me who I am. I am not a number, I am a free man. It sucks that that's kind of the way things are and you know, the legality is a little iffy, but I have faith in the community that follows me and that people want to see more content from myself and that they wouldn't do something like that. Again, I'll never know. I was worried that he'd been copying my program. I'd seen you'd copied content from Voodoo Weightlifting. There are multiple articles pointing out this fact as well. I personally think it's shady, but it's hard to tell if it's illegal. You seem to be a good family man and I'd like to give you the benefit of the doubt here. What were you thinking when you took people's work and used it for a profit? Was it because you saw it as fair game? Is it for a fact not illegal? I just want to know why. Sorry, I am not copying anyone's program. Okay, have you ever copied anyone's program? I'm sorry, man, I'm just hearing different things from different people. Obviously, no response. But I decided to just check out RX Mindset again one more time. Just check it out, just to see, see what's going on. And now, what's funny is that, interestingly enough, they actually put the quote of who they're quoting, because this is what they do on their page. They take images off of Google that aren't theirs, and then they put quotes over the top of them. Really, really great content here, guys. This person right here, by the way, is the lowest common denominator of content creation. Absolute and utter laziness. And it might honestly be awarded, or it, it might be championed by some of these hustle culture nerds out there saying, you know, you're just grinding, you're just working, you're just taking what's there, what's whatever. No, you're just a lazy piece of shit. That's really what you are. You put a sunset and you did a Maya, uh, Mary Tyler Moore quote, right? But here's the funny thing. All these other quotes, when you're grateful for what you have, instead of being upset on what you deserve, life gets really good. Rx mindset. Okay, let me just do a quick Google search because just, just for fun. Let's just see what happens. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> Gary V. <laughs> I got a cut, dude. I was talking about Gary V the entire time. And <laughs> look at what we get. Dude, I'm, this is insane. Oh my God, dude. I literally have the chills. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, uh, okay. Just a copyright footage from the CrossFit games. What holds most people back is in the quality of the art. Okay. I'm sure this garbage is... Uh... Do you guys remember when we used to quote Socrates? And like, being meaningful quotes? What holds people back is in the quality of their ideas. But the lack of faith in themselves. Yeah, Russell Simmons. Guy from Run DMC. Hey, let's quote, I don't know, philosophers. Maybe not Russell Simmons, who had like a reality show or some weird sh There's not one thing this guy has done for himself. 
Look at this. Here we go. RX mindset on TikTok. TikTok. And the funny thing is, here's the voodoo weightlifting cl clip for you guys. Voodoo weightlifting. This is not yours. RX mindset. You were already told to take this shit down. But you're being you're putting it under RX mindset. Nothing of what you do is yours. Oh look, our boy Sonny. That's why are you posting that? Again, I'm going to bring up the Dale and Brennan in the interview thing because I feel like it's pertinent to all of this. It's like actually taking a funny video and reposting it on your Instagram or TikTok. That's actually not that bad. I, I would find a lift on YouTube and be like, this is fucking awesome. And I will repost that, right? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. The weird thing is it drives traffic to your page. And then if you sell something, it's like you're kind of using their content. So it is kind of weird, but... It gets even worse when literally nothing you do is your own. Nothing. I've just taken you guys through, I don't know, 10 minutes of all of RX Mindset's content and none of it was theirs. And now they're continuing to do these other things as well. It's like Dale and Brennan in the interview. The tuxedos were kind of weird, but then when Dale farts, the tuxedos become really fucking weird and... Seth Rogen doesn't like those guys anymore. It's kind of the same thing here. And I'm going to keep using that example. I don't even care. Yeah, I mean, I, I said I wasn't going to get fired up, but but that Gary Vaynerchuk thing got to me, guys. But anyways, I, I want to know what you guys think. It's a very weird place for me to be, right? Because the legality of all of this is very shady. And I, I don't understand it, really. But I do believe that the court of public opinion is a pretty, pretty uh, bad one if you don't have them on your side. You know, I try my best to be equal and fair, but when the evidence stacks up, you know, I'm within my rights to point it out. And I, honest to God, think that this RX mindset guy isn't not doing the right thing. And it's been going on for three years now. Who knows how many hundreds, thousands of dollars this person has made off of other people's work. That's it, that's all. Uh, I will see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.